Time to go back to school with Tom Daniels' School Bus. Coming up next. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hey kids and parents, it's getting pretty close to that time again. This is Wednesday, August 29th, 2018, and we are getting ready to send our kids back to school with the Tom Daniels School Bus. Say it with me, School Bus. Anyway, it's Wednesday at 3 o'clock, and that means that school is out for the day. If you're in one of those little communities where school starts at the end of August, and if you're getting ready to go to school in early September, well, this is a model kit to get you there. So without further ado, well, let's go down and see what's in the school bus. You kids at the back of the bus have to be quiet now because I'm about to show you What's in the Tom Daniels School Bus by Tom Daniels. But before we do that, this is a 124th scale kit, a skill level two for ages 10 and up that needs glue and paint to make it all work out. You get one plastic kit inside, and this is a crazy, it is the wildest dual engine drag machine ever. Now as we look at the side of the box here, we get a nice write-up as to the history on the school bus, as well as the paint call-out sheet, and of course this vintage retro box art, which is always cool. If you don't think it's cool, write in the comments below, but hey, I like it. All right, so we also have the lookout of what it looks out like. <laughs> Once the bus flips up, this is one huge funny car. And you've got two dual diesel motors in it, propelling it along, and there it is without the shell on it. Very, very cool. School cool. All right, now I'm just going to take a look at this. And we're going to have a question and quiz throughout this video, so get ready for it as we go back to school by just giving you a quick little look under the lid before we really get into this. We got our instructions here, which just so happen to be upside down. And then, let's turn that that way. We get a nice big bunch of yellow plastic, as well as some wheels for our school bus. And all this awesome chrome right there. Really cool. And then we get some gray pieces. A gray for you, as well as these amazing school bus decals and these window transfers in orange, which are very cool. And now, without further ado, class, let us commence on the first part of our test. All right, class, we have a little question period for you right now. This is a mini test in the middle of this video. And the question is, where did an advertisement for the school bus appear back in the 1960s? I'll give you until the next segment to answer that question. So class, what do you think the answer is to that question? Well, you're going to have to put your thinking caps on and figure it out. But first, we will get ready and take a look at our instructions here. First off, you get the history of it all, as well as in French and Spanish, which is always good. And then some stuff on what you need to do here. Custom service and all the rest. Okay. Here is the paint call-out sheet, and it's got the little letters in there, and you match them up with the instructions, and a whole bunch of symbols down below, as well as a complete list of all the parts. This will be on the final test. And then we have our assembly with the engines going together. You need to make a bunch of these engines. Then there's the driver controls and the steering wheel as well as the interior of the bus with all the levers to make it go up and down. Then we have our fuel tanks and whatnot. 
as well as that frame going together. And then the front of our bus going together. And it says to place the parts on a flat surface and carefully glue them together. Have you done this model before? How did you come across getting this glued together perfectly? Please write in the comments below and let the class know. Now we have a look at the wheels and axle assemblies, which are very cool. And there's the engines going together. And our rear axles with the wheelie bars. And then we have the drag slicks and they're flat on the bottom. We show that this has a lot of weight underneath it. It's for displays. And there's our thing go frame going together with the two engines. Hemi heads. And the big air scoop. And then directions on how to put those windows in. And the colors for the school bus. It's got two drag chutes. And how it looks with lid up. This is a Chevy bus from the 1960s. And then on the back, of course, we have all the locations of the decals and everything else that makes this cool. School. Are you ready to answer the test question now, classmates? Well then, this ad originally appeared on the back of a Hot Wheels advertising piece that used to come in the original sets back in the 1960s. And now back to the review. Next up, we will look at the decal sheet. And here we have the school bus decal sheet. And please note that this vehicle stops at all drag strips. And of course it is 840 54 cubic inch which is a school and now let's take a look at the students on the bus as we take a look at the window sheet and you'll notice there are quite a bunch of naughty little school children here all with different expressions and weird faces throwing a football punching each other <laughs> skunk on the head and each side has a different set of characters doing different things. Oh, I'm not right. They're actually the reverse, so that they will match on both sides, as if you were really looking in. And there's all the kids at the back of the bus making faces and funny remarks. And there you go. And now, class, are you ready for the second test question? And the question is... Which toy manufacturer made a small car version of this school bus for sale in 1971? Do you think you know the answer? Well, write it in the comments below and get ready for it on the next segment. Now we have our first look at the plastic components. And these, this is the first yellow part tree that we have that shows the two Hemi motors, as well as the big air cleaner and the roll cage, the two drag chutes, and the intake manifolds for the engines. And the detail is relatively simple, like on most Tom Daniel kits. Basically, you build them for the fun and not the detail. And now we go to our next set, which is the bus itself. And we have the hood, as well as the body. And like it said in the instructions, glue this on a flat piece of table. Make sure that it's level. This looks like a 1961 Chevy, actually. That type of front end. And as you can see, the detail is pretty good on this, with all those louvers up there. Uh, there is the door for the bus and the no door side. There is a hood pin latch detail here with a nice cable. And then as we look at the front, you can see the, the uh, turn signal lever lights in there as well as everything else. And there is a copyright date on here, an original one saying that this was first molded 
in 1970. And if you're going to glue it on the table, it will go together like that. All right, class, the test is now come due. And to answer the question of which toy manufacturer made a model of this car as well as monogram, the answer is Hot Wheels in 1971. And there it is, right there. How did you do? If you failed the test, please write it down in the comments below. Otherwise, let's go back to the review. Now we're going to look at the silver gray parts tree. And here we have that gigantic bus frame sitting under here. And some details if you want to put white walls into your tires. And then we get our hinges and the little fire extinguisher, I believe as well as some of the axles and the rear axle as well as the awesome drag seat with the seat belts actually i do believe this might be the bumper i'm not sure can you believe that anyway i guess i get a fill on there so let's just move on here's the second portion of the frame and there are some injector pin marks under here, which will have to be removed, and some serial numbers. But look at these great exhaust pipes. <laughs> They're really huge. Again, with some injector marks, a bit of flash. So you'll have to sandpaper those down. And again, Ravel International 1970. Stamped right into there. Right there. And now, class, I'm sorry to report, but there is only one chrome sheet in this entire kit, but it does have some really nice simplistic parts to it. Here, of course, is the valve covers for your Chrysler Hemi motors, and they have some pretty accurate looking bus type wheels, at least as I remember them going to school. Wow, there's a whole ton of these little domes here two gas pedals. This here is a very long linkage to the front for steering. And of course we have our blower boxes here. And there is that really deep dish drag racing safety wheel. As well as wheelie bars and the blower hood opening and the pulley belts. And there's some suspension springs and another fire extinguisher. All right, class, here is a bonus question to wrap up the day. Did school bus creator Tom Daniels ever get to ride in a school bus himself when he was a kid? See if you remember. And now is our final point in this class. We will review the tires. And here are the front tires. They're very nice. They've got a lot of good detail. And they have that insert as shown on the gray parts, if you remember, where our white wall goes in. So how are you doing on the tests? Are you getting the questions right? Anyway, here are the rear tires. And like I said before, they have the flat spot on them. So you can display this thing as if it was actually sitting on the strip and just taking off because it has the twist of the tire inside there. These are M&H Racemaster tires, which are the two-piece variety from a monogram, so that would mean that the one side and the other side go together like this, and I recommend using Crazy Glue to hold the tires together. And if you have another way to do it, please share with the class in the comment section down below. And those are the tires for the school bus. Well, class, we have come to another conclusion of our day as we examined the Tom Daniels School Bus from Monogram. And as you can tell, this is an A-class type of model, and you should go out and try to find yourself one. 
And while we're going out and doing things, do not forget to like and subscribe to us right down here. And if you do, you'll get notified if you click the little notification bell, like the school bell. Every single time a video comes up, you will be able to study for it before the exam, before the rest of your classmates do. Next Wednesday, we will be looking at another cool kit from the past. But before you go, if you would like to leave a little apple on the desk for your teacher, Mr. Ursulescu here, you can do that by going to our Patreon account. And with Patreon, it is like a little tip jar. If you want to say thank you for getting this model for us, Mr. Teacher, and opening it up and showing us what's inside, you can do that by making a small donation over at Patreon. And we would appreciate it very much so that we can continue to buy textbooks and notebooks so that you will get a good education at the end of it all. And until next time, always remember to drive and ride on your own school bus. And I wish you the best success on your first day back to school. And until next time, check out these great videos here, 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 and here. And now, class dismissed. <laughs>